All right, we're going to make a small file that's got some cubes in it. So save a new SketchUp with the date code cubes and your name into your SketchUp folder. We're going to be using the rectangle and the push-pull tool to make perfectly sized cubes, 5, 10, 15, and 20 feet on a side. I'm going to start off right here at the origin with the rectangle tool and click and let go of the mouse. This is the habit we have to break in that I am actually just moving the mouse around. My hand is off of the mouse and it doesn't really matter how big it says right now. I'm going to type five and apostrophe to symbolize five feet. Since it's length and width, I'm going to hit comma and five feet. You can actually see that down in the lower right hand corner. Now we don't actually go and click in that box. We just type them and press enter. This may look like a rectangle from some angles, but it's actually a perfect square. The tape measure will actually show that if you've done feet and inches. Okay. So I now am going to use the P push pull. I'm going to click and let go and literally my hand is off the mouse. I'm going to use my elbow and just push it in the direction that I want it to go. I'm going to type five feet. So this is now a five foot cube. Okay, so let's make another cube right next to that one. You'll need the shift and middle mouse wheel button to be able to pan over there. And making another rectangle that's right on that line can be difficult unless we use this one as a reference. Having hovered over that corner, I can now go over here, click and let go, and then just nudge the mouse in that direction. I'm going to type 10 feet, comma, 10 feet. So a single apostrophe is for feet. Think about a ruler. One ruler has all those inches on it. The inches show up as little marks. So if I were to type 120 inches, it's actually the exact same thing. A 10 foot by 10 foot square. P to push pull. Click and let go, and then just nudging the mouse in the direction I want, and type another 10 feet. Let's do a couple more. So rectangle, hover, move over a little bit, and 15 feet, comma, 15 feet. Pressing enter executes what you're asking for. P, 15 feet, enter. I now have three of my four cubes. Rectangle one more time. I didn't hover, so it wasn't quite on there. Just if you wanted to be precise, 20 feet by 20 feet. And push pull up 20 feet. So if you save your file with this visible like this, then this will be the thumbnail that I see when I peek at your file when you turn it in. I do want to show you one more thing. If we wanted to stack these on top of each other, it wouldn't be all that easy to just click and move it. Because when I click, I'm selecting individual faces. One of the reasons that I left some space here is to make it really easy to select the whole cube and then right click and make a group. So I'm able to select everything and make a group out of each one of these. Now you don't want to accidentally grab a little bit of the other. So if you notice some trouble, control Z undo, and then make sure you're getting just what you wanted for that group. Now when we get ready to move things, it can be tricky. I can select this, press the M to move, and people try to move things straight to where they want them to go. And it doesn't always work very well. I think of the crane game where you can move in one direction at a time in order to get those stuffed animals. And it actually works a little bit better. Now I need it to go just up. I can press the <clears throat> up arrow on my keyboard. <clears throat> Dang it. And now I'm locked in the up position. So that using your cursor keys can actually be incredibly useful when it's not doing what you want it to. Let me try that again. Move up, move straight up, move over, then you zoom in a little bit, 
and try and get them to stack up on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it will just show me that you practiced a little bit of the moving. And then, of course, your screenshot will look a little bit different. And again, it doesn't hurt to try and get it there in one shot. But when it starts driving you crazy, just remember the crane game. It really is one of the things that helped me a lot when I was having trouble. Like right now, how do I get it to just go up and down? Well, I press that up arrow. And now it's only going up and down. And of course, let's do this. Move her to the top. I'll be able to take a look at this and know that you've got the scale right, that you were typing in the numbers, especially if she's standing there. I'll be able to tell at a glance if those are 5, 10, 15, and 20. Just know that for your simple house, I will be breaking out the tape measure. And if it's off by even the slightest bit, you will have points off because... SketchUp will do it exactly the way you tell it to.